Hey guys, and welcome back to Clock Tower 2. When we last left off, we had just um, escaped from a zombie event after turning back into bait. Um, I, I kind of have a rough idea what we're doing now. And if my surround sound wasn't on, that would be even better. Yeah. Bloody amp. There we go. Right. So now we're bait. Perhaps we can go handle the old man that attacks us. But let's go talk to the nurse as well. Just see what happens. I have equated myself a little bit with this chapter now. Guys, we are in for some shit. Put it that way. Wait till we see the end of this chapter. Oh. <sighs> right, um, let's go back up, talk to the nurse, and talk to the old man. The old man that was going to horribly murder us if we talked to, her, talked to him as Jennifer. Or Alyssa, I should say. I keep thinking Jennifer because that was the original name of the character. And I may have just helped my friend um, fix his car. <clears throat> so I've been drinking beer because, you know, repairing cars and drinking beer is... Kind of what happens, really. But I think we're going to be okay. Now, let's go to the storage room. And talk to our nurse friend. Say, hey, love. How are you doing? Oh, there she is. What? Right. No cloud. Hey, what are you doing in here? This is the end. Everyone's gonna die. So she's still to quite about forever. Mm. She's still quite down on herself. A creature out there. What is it? I wanna answer, huh? If you're not gonna talk, then I'll kill you. Say what? It's a bit extreme. Bloody cat. There's a file in my office. You'll find your answer in there. So which one's your office then? Okay. Alright. Now as bait, let's go re-examine this and see what we can find. You have found a screwdriver. Very snazzy indeed. Okay. Let's get out of here. Now let's go find the old man. Now he, of course, was in here. I don't think he's going to have quite as easy a time uh, defeating Bait as he would Alyssa. Alyssa's a bit of a pussy, um, which is so frustrating. All right, there, Chief. <laughs> it's all over. He's the one who did it. <laughs> Um. Okay, I didn't actually skip anything then. At least I didn't think I did. All right. Well, we uh, we basically just missed um, bait kicking this guy in the nuts, and he basically says, "Oh, this guy's nuts." Yeah, you haven't actually missed anything interesting. It's the same animation as uh, kicking a zombie. So, not sure what happened there. But anyway, we can use the screwdriver that we just found to bust open this. You found the key to the back exit. So, technically, we can actually get a wiggle on and finish this level. But, there's a couple of little bits we can do beforehand. There's a couple of people we can have a chin wag with. And that is what I intend to do. Let's check on the nurse again. Just for prosperity. Um, no, we're not going to do that yet, actually. We're not going to go talk to the nurse just yet. Uh, let's go to room 40. Was it 401? 
which is the one next to the room we started, because I think we can trigger an event in there. Alcoholic ginger beer is literally the best thing in the world. It's so good. I could drink that stuff all day. Well, I have actually done that before. Um, now, so we want to go back through here to room 104. And there's something that we can examine. Which is much important. Is there something that we've missed? Um, not yet, I don't think. Okay, so we can actually exit by going through there, but we don't want to do that just yet. So this is 104, I think. Let's have a little gander inside. And because we can search this, but I don't think it does anything. There's nothing here I can use. Ah, oh, man, you can always use warm blankets. I mean, come on. You can search this. Looking for something? Ah, woman. Mysterious female voice appears. Hmm. Okay. Hmm. Intriguing. Okay. Well, anything else that we have to trigger? Let's just check my notes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Ah, yes. Yes, okay. Let's get back out of here. We need to go to storage two. Because we need to go find out what that nurse was gibbering about. I remember. Okay. And storage two is just this one up here by the leather couch. It's the double. The double double. Let's have a look what we've got here. We have the back door key. Oh, we've got some hanger bullets as well, but yeah, we're not really going to need those. Um, now, nothing in here. Oh, is there? Oh. No, we don't want to open that. Now, let's have a little gander. We can indeed. So we can read that, but we don't want to read that just yet. We want to use the drawer key. Now, this is kind of annoying. I've fucked up, basically, here. There's a spicy meatball in this room. You found a shotgun, but left it where it is. I'm assuming I can't pick up the shotgun because we have the gun in our inventory, which is really freaking annoying. And I don't think we can put the gun down either, which sucks. Some Large quantities of penis. Interesting. This makes sense. Does it now? Getting infected with cerebral toxin turns you into a zombie. The bacteria forms a new parasitic brain. Ooh. And makes the old brain stop functioning. So they are parasites and zombies, but... I thought this was spiritual. That means the zombie's weak point is their parasitic brain. Makes sense. Oh no! Gotta try. Yeah, we certainly do. Come on. And, okay. So I've never managed to actually pull that off, to be honest. Always seem to die there. I'm assuming if we had the shotgun, it would be a lot easier. We will see the shotgun demonstrated a little bit later on. It, it It's not good. It's rather horrible, to be honest. So, let's just grab Sorry. this. Skip that. Come on. There we go. Oh, actually pulled that off. Got a headshot. Didn't manage to do that last time. 
Okay, so we now have the file. Now that's pretty much... <clears throat> my throat is going horrible. That's pretty much all we need to do here. So... Let's go back and change back. Now where did I... Where did I leave the amulet? Was it in here? I can't even remember. We kind of need to change back to Alyssa now. We've got some good health too. Did we leave the amulet in here? May have. I forget. Yes, it was. Okay, cool. Alright, let's grab that bad boy back. There we go. Now, we want to go back upstairs and we want to go talk to the woman. Our nurse friend. Just for shits and giggles. Right. Now, if she was back upstairs, so let's go back upstairs. Ah, so much back and forth in this level. Like, honestly. Apparently, the next level is a nightmare. With the constant back and forth and all that shizzle. Cloud, stop trying to get on me. Oh, that stuff is so fucking good. Oh, man. Yeah, if you like ginger beer and you like alcohol, oh, alcoholic ginger beer is the shit. Right, we need to go talk to her. She's down here. Let's see what she's up to now. <laughs> oh. Oh, my. Wow. <clears throat> that got dark. Nurse. Stop! It's all over. I have no desire to live. <laughs> mm-hmm. If you commit suicide now, you'll turn into a zombie. Me too? Dead. But alive. <laughs> her voice does forever. not match her head. No, don't. Please. Now, <clears throat> um... Ah, oh, you're on my notes, cat. Now, if you talk to her as Bates, apparently, whatever he says to her will kill her. Uh, and she won't appear in the next scene, I believe. It doesn't matter, but it just means we can't get an item. So we don't have to worry about it too much. Ooh. That was weird. I haven't heard my cat make that sound before. Um, so now we have to go back down to the computer lab. So that we can do. So let's go do that. I still don't know what ending we're going to get. Because I know we can't get the best ending. Because of one stupid little thing. That didn't happen in um, in our last, uh, well, in the beginning. Which completely destroys the entire run. Which is frustrating because after going back through the guide, it should actually have triggered. But it didn't. Uh, so, we're going to have to go back through this game again anyway. I don't know how I'm going to do it. I don't know if we're going to replay the whole thing or if I'm just going to... I don't know. I mean, luckily this game is not too long. But the checklist to actually... Where was the computer lab? Oh, it's back this way. The checklist to um, get 100% on this and get the A ending is huge. There's so much you have to do. There's so many rooms that you have to go into, and you have to go into them in the right order, with the right items, as the right personality. Holy shit. And then you can easily come in here and think, oh, there's nothing new in here. But wait. Okay. There's a guy that should... Be <laughs> exactly my point. There's a guy that should be here. Ah. 
There's a guy that should be here. Why isn't he? What haven't we done? Oh, I know what we haven't done. I know what we haven't done. Okay. Yeah, that's interesting. Now, um, we need to go back and see the crazy doctor guy. Do you remember, like, he would kill us? But, but for some reason, if we go see him now, or should I say, for some reason, now we have to go see him. Um, oh, we're on the right floor, aren't we? Yeah. Now we have to go see him. Now, every instinct is is going to be telling you to stay away from this guy because he can kill you as Alyssa. And there's nothing you can do. But no. No. Right. See, it's still the same. He's still in the same position. It's the same animation. It's everything. Everything about this. Your gamer sense is saying he's going to kill you. <laughs> it's even the it's same dialogue. Over. He's the one who did it. <laughs> Excuse me, but huh? You? Aye. Those creatures can eat you instead of me. Charmed. While they're chewing on you, I can escape. Yes, that's it. What a great idea! You've gone crazy. Yep. See, there's nothing here that indicates that this is a different scene. <laughs> Hurry up and get eaten. Uh, yeah, sure, pal. <laughs> uh, and then, yeah, for reasons, she gets shot. And actually, there's already something that I've forgotten to do. As bait, we've already yeah, we've already raided his cabinet. But yeah, shit, we've forgotten something. I'm gonna go see if I can trigger it now. Can't forgive you. Who are you? That's not important. Who the fuck? Thank you for rescuing me. Rescuing you? Only because I won't let you die so easily. What? Huh? What the fuck? What does that even mean? Like, who is she? She saved us, but she actually hates us. And she wants us to die. Just, just... Ah, fuck this. I don't even know who that's supposed to be. She looks like she's dead. You know. I guess we shouldn't be thinking about it too much. Anyway, now we should be able to go to the computer room. Let's have a little look. And that is not the computer room, is it? No. We need to go back through there. This computer room's through here. I remember. Yeah, through here and through the first door. No, it's not. It's not even through the... F is it through the first door? Yes. Yes, it is. Ha-ha! I remember things sometimes. Now, there should. There we go. Is the dude. That research lab is hiding some secret. <laughs> Look how happy it's he looks. next door to this hospital. Look how friggin' happy that lab. face looks, man. Uh, for researching pharmaceuticals, mainly. Well, I gathered as much. I'm going over there. You coming with me? Omen. His name just changed. Now, important choice here. If we say yes, we're coming with us, uh, we're going with him, he apparently um, dies in the next scene. But if we say no, or the next chapter, but if we say no, he survives. Uh, the only difference is, if he dies, it means you can't get ending C. And as I don't know what ending we're on track to get, we're going to say no. Take care of yourself, then. Don't get yourself killed in a place like this. <laughs> no shit's given. Look at he just, like, saunters off as well. It's like slow ass movement towards the door. Like no one's got any urgency, you know? No one gives a shit. Like just gingerly walks out the door, no fucks given. Now, there is one 
thing I want to try and get. However, I think we've missed our opportunity for it. But I don't know how much it interferes with the ending. So, we'll see. You can still search these. I'll be in big trouble if someone finds me here. Why? Like, why will you be in trouble if you're found in the toilet? Like... There's weird shit going on. I think... Uh, no one is there. Again, we're overthinking, you know. No one's there. Okay, so there is like a little bit of dialogue here that apparently we can't get. Which is a shame. Everything seems normal here. All it is is that woman, um... Like, literally say three words, I think. It's nothing that important. But I don't know if that's going to affect us getting an ending. I'm not sure. Now, let's go use our bloody key. And get to one of the more irritating parts of the game. You shall... Oh, you shall see. You shall see. Now, remember these doors down here. These are now magically open. Yes, there we go. On track. Now we're going to save. Do -do 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 -do. Uh, yeah, we'll save it there. It's fine. That's all right. Now, let's get out of here. See if we can get through here. And the door is locked. Oh, no. Let's try and use our back door key. Use the back door key on the back door. Makes sense. No, it's locked. That's why we used the key. But I guess. Get out of here. The door's locked. Damn back. That is just. Ah. Oh no. <laughs> it's just hi. High intensity action here, guys. I don't know why she just passes out. And then our man here throws down throws down his handgun and picks up his shotgun. Now, this bit is fucking annoying. Because we've got to aim and use the shotgun against these zombies. And there is a lot of them. But the way the aiming and targeting works is pure guesswork. Sometimes you can shoot zombies all the way down here. Sometimes you can't. Sometimes you just... See, look. See how long it took for him to register there? I don't honestly know how this, this works. When I was actually testing this, I failed this so many times. I think since I've restarted the game, it seems to actually be running better. See? See? He wasn't actually being picked up as a target. Or that woman. You just have to shoot so many of these guys. It's, it's just... So, see how long it took for her to flag up then. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Ah. See, I... I don't know how that shotgun targeting works. I would have thought, as long as you've got the cursor over the zombie, that would count. But that's not how it works. It's... I don't know. We haven't used the drawer. Oh yeah, the only thing that's in that was the shotgun. That's fine. Right, let's try this again. Can't aim, can't aim, can't aim. Okay. See, again, you can shoot some of these down hit there. Come on. It's not aiming at this woman. I don't know why. It, this is so annoying. And you have, like, so many of these zombies here to fight. There's tons of them. I don't know whether it's just glitchy and janky or if there's genuinely something that I'm doing wrong. I'm... I don't know. Right. See, I'm aiming at him and I'm pushing the button. Every now and again the target comes up, but I couldn't tell you what I'm doing to make it appear. See, that's right over his head. There we go. 
See? Right over his head. There we go. I don't know what the fuck this, this hit detection is about. All I know is this bit is just so unbelievably stupid. Come on. I don't know if you have to find one of those targets. But I'm sweeping over those targets. And it's see like that. And it's not always coming up. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Oh, fuck's sake. That was close. <sighs> Shit. God, this bit is so stupid. To think this game's actually older than Resident Evil. Uh, newer than Resident Evil. Like, could you even imagine that? So fucking awful. Come on. How many green robot zombies can I be forced to fight? We've got three character models over and over. Oh, thank fuck for that. So bad. So bad. Hilariously bad, but still. Ah, <sighs> thank fuck that's over. Uh, you're awake. You're unconscious, and I brought you here. Hope you don't mind. Where am I? Royal Pharmaceuticals Research Lab. Yeah, I saw Philip Tate come in here. <laughs> As a policeman, I can't ignore that, can I? I love the voice he's acting. Here? He's mighty suspicious. With all the evidence, he's got to be involved somehow. No, that's not true. My uncle's the laboratory director. It's perfectly normal for him to be here. Well, in any case, you stay here. I'm going to take a look around. You do that. This place looks like some World War II bunker or something. Looks weird. And anyway, here we are. On to the third chapter, I think. Although I don't think this is officially the start of the third chapter. But we are going to save it. Because I need to go and explore and, and learn this area. So there might be a little bit of a pause in this series. The series might go on hiatus again. Just whilst I'm figuring out what to do depending on how much time i actually have to do that but we are definitely on track for an ending i have no fucking idea what ending is it's either gonna be um we can't even look here to be honest but it's gonna be b or c i guess i have no idea but uh I'm sure we're going to find out very, very soon. Anyway, guys, thank you very much for watching. And as always, till next time.